Well, it seems like Trump is talking about NATO, and let's have a look at NATO. So according to official guidelines from NATO and the member states, now they made a pledge to agree to this, that uh, states that all states should spend at least 2% of their GDP on defense. All the states agreed to this. So if my math is correct, let's take a look at the GDP of the United States. So 2% of uh, United States GDP, which is $16.77 trillion, works out to be around $335 billion. Currently, the U.S. is paying $650 billion, far more than their fair share. Now let's take a look at Germany. Uh, Trump seems to think that uh, Germany is not paying their fair share, so let's have a look. So uh, we've got Germany's GDP coming in at $3.73 trillion. So if we take 2% of that, you're looking at around $74 billion. Uh, currently, they're only paying $40 billion, so Germany's coming up quite short. Uh, they're not paying their fair share. So it's interesting because what's going to happen is now the U.S. is going to be pulling back, and that's going to create a security void, uh, U.S. security uh, void anyway, and that's going to have to be filled. Who's going to fill that? Uh, apparently, it's going to have to be the Europeans. So anyway, I hope that uh, sheds a little light on uh, how I see the uh, the whole uh, NATO thing going. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you think my assessment is correct that uh, there will be some kind of security void and uh, so, uh, you or Europe may be at, uh, at a risk? Somebody's going to have to foot the bill, right? So leave a comment. If you're new here, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.